a graphic rendering depicting Abu Dhabi by drone at night. The image captures the scale of energy needed to power the capital. What's unique here is that the UAE is the first Arab country to generate light from its own nuclear power. In this uh, building, we have the single biggest generator in the Middle East. So Mohammed Al Hamadi has been involved since day one, taking a working model seen here to the launch of commercial operations. Now we are commercially connected to the grid and we are making revenue and also dispatching clean, reliable, safe, secure electricity to the grid. And these lights, as you see right now, uh, has also some uh, part of that nuclear power plant. It's all generated here at the Baraka nuclear facility, about 300 kilometers southwest from Abu Dhabi, near the borders of Saudi Arabia and Qatar. This facility has four reactors. Number one is now fully operational. Number two is loaded with fuel, and three and four will come online over the next few years. When it's all said and done, Baraka will provide about 25% of the nation's electricity. Four units of nuclear power plants will avoid roughly around 21 million tons of CO2 emissions on an annual basis. That's to put it in perspective for, for the audience. That's around 3.2 million cars off the road. The UAE took a big leap into this arena, setting the policy framework back in 2008 and spending $24 billion to develop the sector. More than 3,000 workers are on site. 60% are UAE nationals, like Elam al Noemi, who took her degree five years ago in nuclear engineering. It's uh, unique. It's new to the UAE, and I want it to be part of this new uh, project that is significant. When I went to university, this plan didn't exist. So once I graduated, uh, this job offered me a big exposure in all aspects of environment. This is an exclusive look inside the turbine building in the protected area. I was here in 2017, and it was silent because it was not operational. That clearly has changed. And I can feel the heat with the steam running right into that turbine behind me. The temperature rose to 47 degrees centigrade, or 116 degrees Fahrenheit, as the facility crossed the threshold into commercial operations. Most people think of the UAE as an oil and gas producer, heavy on hydrocarbons. Does this change the narrative coming online commercially? I would I totally agree with you. And the key point here is that UAE is diversifying its, its economy and diversifying its resources of energy. Electrification will be one of the key pillars for decarbonization and also will be a key pillar for the economic growth of the, of the world. As the demand for data and artificial intelligence grows, so too will electrification and the need to meet that growth with fewer fossil fuels driven by splitting the atom. John Defterius, CNN, Abu Dhabi.